is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks. Uh, one of the things that we did in the newsletter and then also in the early video that we sent out early Sunday morning was to uh, show you that if we did get a 382 retracement, you can see here's where we closed on Friday. We did get the 382 retracement here at uh, 5029. The high was uh, 5029 and a half. Uh, then we had another one here right after the opening this morning. That was a 382 off of this high right here. We had a really nice ABCD pattern here where the market had a nice little bounce. But right now it has a negative uh, uh, indication because we're so far below the opening. And, uh, you know, whether it's where it's going to go from here is anybody's guess. But, you know, this is what we're looking at as far as, far as, far as risk control. That's the main thing that we're – that we're looking at when we're watching these markets uh, for any stretch of the imagination. Now, the one that we had wrong, but we corrected it very quickly, and that was in the gold market. <clears throat> we had sold the uh, 382 here at 31, <clears throat> which was right. Let's just get back here. We'll see where we were. There's where we were, right here. I, let me get this is where we were, right there. There was a 382 off of this last move that we had right here. That came in at 31. We sold that there. And when we were early this morning, I said, look, this thing is not backing off, and we got a chance to go a lot higher. The reasoning for that, folks, was this right here. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. You know how much I respect the 382 because it, uh, it really is the precursor of things to come. But look at this, folks. From your low to your high, the exact low comes in. To the exact tick, I, have, I hope I did this right. I know it was exact just a minute ago. Yeah, there it is, right there. Right there. There was your low right here. One tick from the absolute low. Uh, the low was at uh, 2024.10, and that number comes in at 2023.70. So 40 cents away. And I said, look, can't risk any more above here. So we put our stop right here, just about break even. I should have gone long, but uh, I didn't. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We do one thing at a time here as we go through these trades. Now, we had another trade. And the only reason I'm bringing these up is because, you know, we have losers and we have winners. And a lot of them, you know, they're interrelated because they're, you know, very, very close. But here was one we've been waiting for for quite some time. And that is here in the cattle. This, uh, well, this is the April cattle. We'll get the uh, larger get that uh, larger time frame up here you can see there's what we were waiting for is to complete this larger ABCD pattern folks if you like ABCD and we do here there's your ABCD these are either one you put this down and it measures to the almost exact high of the day 87 ah, shut the front door and raise the rent that's not good anyway so what you're in now is you put the stop at break even You'll see where it goes from here. Right now, it has a you know one penny profit in it, which is better than having a loss. That's the main thing that we want to be paying attention to here. So let's move on here and uh, cover another one that uh, several people have asked me about. And that let me get the charts up to get up to date here. I'm going to cascade them so I can pull them up a little bit. Uh, you know we've been watching soybeans for a very long time. This is the November contract that we happen to be watching. It's got some missing data. This is really basically this overnight stuff where there's really nothing going on. You know, that's what we're watching. But we had a, a move from the low to the high. You can see we went from 37 up to 62. Okay, that's 25 cents. The harmonic number in beans is 18 cents, so 18 or 36. So it was halfway in between. Then the market came down and then rallied up to the 61% retracement. What we need to do is we need to be watching this on an hourly basis. And here's what we want to be watching for. There's a possibility that this is the major low right down here at 36. 
We don't know whether that's going to be the case or not. So what we're watching is we're going to be watching this move right here, which was very nice, but it didn't go anywhere. You'll see from your high down to your low, you went right up to the 61% retracement. Didn't do very much. Then it came back. Now, we also want to ask, how was the pullback? So you go from your high to your low, and that did. It went down to the 382, just a little bit below it here at 51. But what we'd like to see, because we believe in these cycles, which we have a big one coming up here on Wednesday, Thursday, and we'll have Grace Morris and, and Norm and maybe Tim Boss talk to us about this lunar cycle, plus some of the things that are related there to Mercury. And the reason why we're looking at Mercury, folks, is, you know, Andrew Lowe, who's one of the most successful hedge fund managers in all of Wall Street. He has a $3 billion hedge fund that all of the profits goes to cancer research for women. Well, I, miss, I guess men too. But uh, he, he does a huge amount of business, and he also runs financial engineering for uh, MIT. And you know where those dudes are. Those are the guys of the brain trust of Wall Street. Oh, oh, let's move this over a little bit right here. Here's where we are. Here's what I'm looking for. Is this is here on the 15th. So if we can get out here in around the 22nd, what I'd like to see happen. Now, this is my uh, Christmas wish list, which I – uh, make every day. Anyway, this is what I'd like to see the market pull down into this area right here. We got a little gap from last night, but this is the area around 46. That's about 10 cents from where we are. Now, that's not very much in beans, but there's a chance that if it moves real quietly, not with this jagged, you know, sharp down move stuff, I'd like to see it get down here close to this level here on the 13, uh, on the 22nd or 23rd. That's two days out two to three days out, but that's what we're going to be looking for. The one thing that I'm 100% sure of, I'm going to do this weekly chart for you, okay? Been doing this for a long time. By the way, I was able to meet with our good friend Rich Anderson over the weekend. He came up to Scottsdale while I was playing in a poker tournament. We have a new poker room at the Talking Stick Resort in Scottsdale, folks. It's the most beautiful poker room I've ever seen in my life. 80 tables. Oh, I mean, it is just absolutely – I'm not easily impressed because I've seen so many of these poker rooms, but not like this one. Anyway, this was we're looking at in the long-term weekly. There's going to be a lot of support in here. I think we got the possibility of making a $2 rally in beans if we can uh, gauge it right. You can see we've been coming down week after week. Look how many weeks. Let's just double-check to see how many weeks it's been down. You want to talk about a market that's oversold. It's been down 12 weeks, 13 weeks. So now we're starting to get some type of a little bottom in here, and that's what we're looking. The meal is still, you know, going. It, it, it's up a little bit today, but uh, it's still. This is the one that I think offers the best because they haven't uh, planted these puppies yet. These little beans, they're they haven't published them, uh, planted them yet. So that'll be starting here around March 1st in the warmer parts of the southern belt, and then later on around middle of April. But then there'll be lots of chances for crop scares and I've, all these years I've never been through a year where you don't have at least one, two or three crop scares with global warming out there. Who knows? We're going to take a break here, pay a few bills. 877-927-6648 and we'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, now what we did on Sunday was we said uh, with the, the Dow Jones, you see, had this big drop here of 300 points on Friday and to sell the 382 back. And, folks, it missed it by four pips. We had, I even shaded it by a little bit and we still didn't get filled. So we missed that. And then we got it uh, later today. I said, go to the second group, which would have been down in here. We'll get this right there. It came in here at 38.67. Uh, so sold it there with our stop above there. That's working a little bit better. Just recently here now, you notice here we had a pretty good move down. Then we've had a little bit move up. Let's just double check to see if that was a 3A2 because sometimes those can come in handy and sure enough there it was right there for strong trending markets this thing uh, uh, works pretty nicely for sure okay now I've had a request to talk about Richard Wyckoff Wyckoff let me get this up here I've got the charts up here that I want you to see here's where we are okay Richard Wyckoff this is from stock charts but it's a uh, uh, the guy that, that does the work now for uh, Wyckoff, who died in 1934, I believe he was in California, but he was only 60 years old. You know, we lost Gartley in 1969, and he was only uh, 70 years old. So those guys died relatively, relatively soon. And speaking of that, folks, if you have any type of an estate at all, please, please make yourself a will or a trust or something to protect your relatives. Jimmy passed away here a couple days ago, and he didn't leave a will. Uh, and so it's in California, but fortunately they have really good attorneys on the on the, on the the hunt there, so it, it'll be okay. Just be longer, but you really want to let, let your wishes be known who gets what and whatever. Anyway, you notice uh, when you look at this stuff, remember Wyckoff and uh, Gartley and all those dudes, you know, lived during the 30s and 40s and 50s. Uh, Ralph Elliott was in the 40s and stuff like that. So that's uh, the main thing that we're watching here as we're looking at some of these things unfolding here this morning. Okay, anyway, let's just get this up so we can see it right now. And I want to be able to see here's where we are. This is with all the ABCDs. Okay, this is you can see it, so you can see them everywhere. Now, all I do, folks, is I look at, at patterns within patterns within patterns. So when I looked at this and I saw a G, I saw some really cool looking stuff. So the first thing I did is I picked it out, 
Okay, you can see there's a perfect three drive to a top pattern. Look at that. A perfect A, B, C, D coming in. All these little wiggles, they're too small for me to even worry about it. But you can see here how it's coming down. These are all 382s. I have no idea as what this PSY ARs, I mean, that's part of the program that I guess uh, that they use. But that's basically just looking at 382s on the way down. You know, ABCDs, you can see ABCDs all the way up in here. You know, some of these are just too small to do. But the Wyckoff works because it's a swing trading method. And if you add some swing trading stuff with a tiny bit of, you know, mathematics and sacred geometry, like uh, what, do you, what do you want to call it, the fib, fib ratios and stuff like that or – uh, other other numbers of sacred geometry, the square roots of those numbers, you're going to do relatively well. Okay, now let's move on here and see what else is going on here in the world. And we'll get seeing right here. Uh, hold on one second. I want to get uh, – where are we at here? Uh, okay, we want to be watching the, the gold. Oh, someone asked a question about the gold market. Hold on one second here. I want to get the gold up here. <clears throat> One second here, and we will be ready to go here. Now, here is crude oil. Now, we just had – now, this is one of those kinds where the 3A2 it gives you a little bit of a problem because if you sold it here, your stop has got to be above here. Now, I sold it right in here. The reason why is I thought this downtrend – I tried buying it here, but I I was late. But look, there, you like ABCDs, and this is a bull market, of course. There's your AB leg right there. You know, there's your CD leg coming in right here. Went a little bit lower, and so now what I'm looking at is to see whether this thing is going to back off from here or not. So that's the main thing that I'm paying attention to as I watch these things here this morning. Remember, they don't always work, but when they do, they work pretty well. This was the one that we liked really good for a longer-term trade. And that was if we could get the market to go higher by just a little bit. What we were watching for last night and with that news coming in about the, those dudes over, I can't with the hooties or howdies, whatever they are, uh, hitting that, uh, I forget which, which country it was. It wasn't a major country, but it blockaded his, uh, their things. But anyway, look at this is what we were watching for. If you got a nice ABCD like this one up into this 79 level, you had another one right here. So that would have set up a very nice three drive pattern. There's drive one. This would have been drive. Nah, doesn't draw it right. Hold on just a second. From your high down here to your low. And then I got to move this. Oh, it's not going to do it the right way. Anyway, that's what you'd be watching here. Let me draw it in so you can see it better. There's your AB leg right here. There's another one coming in right on the top. See how they're all coming together? And if you measured the 1.27 expansion of that last move, it all comes together right about there. You'll get this, be able to see it in just a second. Right about this level right here, about 70, 67, I believe. That's where the area is where we would have liked to have been a seller. But unfortunately, uh, we didn't, we weren't able to get that. And so we just have to, you know, move on and uh, see what the next one's going to bring. Okay. So that's what we're paying attention to. If you have any questions, it's 877 927 6648. Okay. Now we'll see, look what's going on with our cattle here. We sold the cattle. We have our, uh, stop at the break even right now, uh, right up in here. So that's not going to be uh, any much, uh, very much of a problem. So that one seems to be working okay. And uh, what do we have here? Oh, we've had a little bit of rally here in the, the S&P here. It's getting above the area where I thought it might stop. But let's just look at it to see where we are here. That was the last 3A2. So that's the one you want to measure off of right there, folks. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean all this out. And we're going to do it the right way and see what the 382 is going to be on this one. You see how this distance here was from 81 to 97, 16 points. This one should be 16. You add 16 to that, and that takes you to 83, and the high has been 84. So if that's correct, this should be the 382 right there. Let's see if it gets there. Bada bing, bada boom. You follow what I'm saying? This is, you can call it Wyckoff, you can call it uh, Joe Schmo, whatever you want to call it. But there it is right there. There's your AB leg, ABCD to the downside right there. Okay. And what does it do? It rallies right up to the 382. That's probably going to be pretty much spot on to the 618 of the other move. 
Uh, it's 50%, but that should be the resistance right in there. So it's not that hard, I guess. You know, sometimes when you look at them, it's a little easier than you might think. Anyway, that's what we're watching. Now, if this thing explodes and gets above here, then we could be looking at something really big because this was a this was far lower than it should have been today. Let's, let's look at this hourly chart. You can see we went substantially below the 61% retracement today, folks. I know you're not gonna, you're gonna find this hard to believe, but I actually bought right here, at this level right here, I bought 83, okay, and I got out of it right there. Now, only on a dare, someone says, you're afraid to buy it. I said, no, I'll put a stop in, and it missed my stop by two points I made, you know, 300 bucks. Anyway, I did do it, just to say, hey, I traded with the trend, and the trend has certainly been up. Anyway, uh, we gotta take a break. 877-927-6648. We got to talk about some currencies. Stay with us. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <laughs> okay, folks, someone's asked uh, for us to look at NVIDIA on a smaller time frame, and believe me, I, I'll do a 13-minute up here, but you can see here we had a uh, – this was the uh, – more, this was the morning, you can see, of the 20th. Uh, it actually was uh, opening a little bit higher from where we were here on Friday. There was Friday. We opened a little bit higher. How much higher? Yeah, it looks like we made about a 61% retracement, 50%. Yeah, then we made an ABCD to the downside. There's not been a 382 ever since uh, this uh, this high has been in. We made a the 382 would have been right here. 
you can see that there was your 3A2 would have been right there on that one, but then it hasn't had anything, you know, since that time. Where it's going from here, folks, is anybody's guess, but I, I firmly believe that AI is here to stay. I mean, it's going to affect the movie industry, any type of entertainment, uh, especially the uh, the most popular thing on the internet, which is pornography. It's really going to shake those folks up. And uh, also uh, lawyers and stuff, anything where there's numbers or things like that involved, it's going to be really, really difficult not to get around AI. I don't know. I know very little about it. I've just seen a couple demonstrations that literally I, I, I was totally shocked. I was just uh, really blown away at. Okay, let's move over here to one other thing that I wanted to mention. Someone asked a question about Apple. And I'm not an Apple uh, user of any kind. Well, I do have a, a Nano, but that's uh, – let's get the daily up here on Apple. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them for you. 877-927-6648. I still think we're, we're looking at Apple down here at uh, 169. We're almost ready to take out this level right here. You can see we're, we are in some type of a downtrend. You know, it's certainly a weaker than market stock. Uh, the last rally went a little above the 618, measures the ABCD, and there's another larger ABCD here that's going to take us down too because there's your uh, – well, either one of these lows is about the same. They'll take the secondary one, and you'll see that uh, it's going to take us to at least uh, somewhere between uh, 177 and 169. I, I have to go with the uh, – well, it's got to get to 177 before it gets to 169, but that's where I think it would be headed just because of this ABCD and the fact that it's acting pretty good. Way oversold now. We've been down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days here. So we're due for a little bit of a bounce, and we're going to see whether we get it. But this is what I'm looking at 177 to 169. It's ABCD, folks. I don't do anything anymore. Uh, mysterious or fancy than that. It's uh, as simple as uh, I can possibly get it, okay? So we'll get rid of both of those. And then someone asked a question about the action in Walmart today. So, because that's been the leader of the stock market in the Dow Jones earlier this morning. So we're going to pull it up and take a look at it. Just one second here, WMT, as I recall. WMT, there it is. We're going to bring it up here, and here's Walmart. Woo, man, they must have had some blockbuster earnings. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's see where we are with ABCDs, if you like ABCDs, okay? Let's just clean it all out and see what we can come up with here, okay? There's where we are. Get all this out, and we'll start uh, this low right back here to this high right here. Let's just see what old ABCD. There's your A leg right here. I know you guys get bored with this stuff, but you know what, folks? I've been doing this a long time, and I'm never bored. The ABCD measured to 74.50, where it got as high as 82. Now, when you have a gap like this, okay, when you have a gap going into this, what you have to do is you have to expand your AB leg. There's your AB leg here. You expand the CD leg to 1.27 of the AB leg because of the gap. So if you come over here and measure this 1.27, and you'll get this, you'll be able to see that the high measured to 181.20. And the high today was, <laughs> I missed it, 181.35. This is 181.29, the high measured to 121.35. That's got to be, that. that's just a type of, type of, type of, type of a topological error, I guess, or whatever they call it. Anyway, sometimes it works. Some, and folks, I had not looked at this. I had no idea that I did. You can see what I just did. I didn't uh, didn't make anything different. Whenever you have a gap in these things like this, you really have to uh, add that to it because that's uh, that's how it goes. And you can see. Let's just check and see after the early morning break. See if we made a a little three eight two for the folks here in the cheap seats. Well. It has the break, but this is not a 382. That's a, that's you know it went quite a bit higher than the 382, but it's only a buck or two. So, anyway, that's what we're watching here uh, in Walmart today. And boy, this must be stock day. Everybody's got questions about stock. So hold on, let me get over here and take a look at one other one here. Let's get up here. It will be quite easy to pick this up, and we'll be okay. Where's 
There it is. There it is. Hold on. Uh, someone's asked about Alibaba and Jack Ma. Jack is waiting to sell this at 100, and I think he's going to have to wait a little while. Um, you know, this thing, you, let's just look at the weekly. You can see how big this was at one time. 320, and you can see, folks, on the way down, this was 618. Look, 382, 382, 382, and it's been going down, down, down. It's still, you know, I don't know how he's going to get $100 out of it. Well, he could easily get a rally up into this area, but... My goodness. And there's another example here. There's your A, B, C, D measured to 287, and the stock topped at 320. There was a little gap in here. I don't know if it is – well, there's a gap in there too, but I don't know if that would have made much difference. Let's just add that to it and see if that would have got you to the promised land with – no, it's, it's going to be a little above it. This is going to make me look a little silly, but, oh, maybe not too bad. It measured to uh, 329. And the high was 319. 319 was a high. The 1.27 expansion measured to 329. Still pretty close. Not too bad. Okay, one other question someone had is about this, the uh, Canadian dollar. So let me get rid of this and bring up the Canadian dollar. And we will do our best to uh, – let's just do it with – well, I better do it with the, uh, the, the 4X because that's the easiest way to do it. It's been under – uh, a little bit of consolidation here. Here's where the Canadian is right now. This is the U.S. dollar versus the Canadian. So when the U.S. dollar goes up, the Canadian goes down. So the U.S. dollar is stronger than the Canadian right now. You can see the big ABCD pattern right here. That measured down to this level, just a little below the 786. Then we had a small little pullback here. A nice little, another ABCD pattern right in here you'll be able to see it right there there's your abcd or oh, got questions coming in about currency now and there's your abcd right there within just a few ticks of the exact high and so now we're doing nothing we're in a real tight consolidation here in fact the dollar is really strengthening against the canadian because look now you have a one three five pattern forming you see you've got you've got the higher bottoms in here that you know, indicative of a market that wants to go higher. We should at least duplicate what we did the last time, and that's going to take us up here somewhere way above the 618 level. So that's what we're watching in the Canadian dollar. Let's take a break, and we'll take a look at the euro and also the U.S. dollar index next, 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, so this is a treasury bond. It's the uh, most actively traded thing. Well, notes are first and bonds are second, much much more so than the stock indices. These are, I think, it's six times what it is in the stocks. And, of course, the bond market is huge compared to the stock market. Here we've had a 382 retracement here off of the high. That's recommended selling it here with our stop right above here. It's got a two-tick profit, which is basically nothing, has done very little. But there's something on this chart, folks, that is – it's – the best there is of anything. I'm going to show it to you right now. This is an hourly chart. You see this pattern right here? I'm going to just draw this in, and then we're going to look at it on a smaller time frame. So if you're having trouble making money in the market, if you have the patience to wait for this pattern right here, you're going to make a lot of money. So we're looking at 60 minutes, so we're going to move down to a 13-minute chart and go back to the 15th. And you're going to be able to see that right there. There it is right there. See there on the 15th? That, my friends, is an A, B, C, D. Now, remember, this is taking several hours to complete this. And what you want to be doing is you just want to come up and sell it the 3A2 right there. There's your 3A2 right there at 119.05. The high was 119.10. You're risking very – your stop would have been right above here. You would have been risking about eight picks. And look what happened. Down it came. Down it came. Here's almost the same pattern right here. There's A, B, C, D doing exactly the same thing. So if that's the same thing, it should be right at the uh, 382 retracement also. So you come in and look at it, and it's a little above the 382, but not quite to the 50%. But the key is you have an A, B, C, D, and you're in a downtrend. Hello, operator. That's what you want to be looking for, folks. That's what you want to be watching for. So that's the main thing of looking at. Now, this is still in a downtrend. If we look at this on the long-term weekly, which we've done many times, we do this in the newsletter, we're very, very close to that big bottom down here. Remember, that comes in. Let's get this four, uh, uh, I think it's a four hour. Yeah, the four hours is what we want to wait. There it is right now. Oh, let me get this thing out of the way. That thing doesn't work. I'm going to delete all of this. That's what I'm going to do. Because here's what we're watching. <clears throat> This is the big long-term daily, okay? Now, this is the March contract for the bonds, and you, you're going to be able to see this in just one second. There's your A leg right there. There's your B leg. I'm going to draw it straight up so you can see that uh, we are with it. Oh, my goodness. This says, that, did we hit it? Holy cow. It did hit it. Uh-oh, something's wrong with my data because, boy, my data says it was... Uh oh, something's. Uh, bear with me here, folks. Got trouble in River City. Uh, no, let me get to that uh, daily then. Big daily. See, I'm showing it comes in here at 117.13. Let me clean this out just a little bit. I've got to do this here just to see what's wrong because that is, that is going to change the game a little bit. 
<laughs> Hello, operator, more than a little. Let's get this up here so we can see. There's your A leg right here. We'll just keep it right here so we can see it. There's your B leg, C leg, D leg. Son of a gun. God darn, I don't want to be short this damn thing. Wow, that's not good, Larry. Oh, boy, I don't know what I did wrong here. I got to correct this. Yeah, there's your 3A2. See, we missed it here, and then we had the room. But that's an A, B, C, D right on the money. And if we looked at the uh, – let's just look at the time frame down. Caught me in an error, folks. I got to get this thing corrected. See, the, on the last move down, it was 18 days, and we're not anywhere near 18 days on the way down on this one. Because, see, the 18th day would be, you know, way out here into March sometime. But the fact that we made that A, B, C, D down there – Someone told me that, and I didn't I – mean, I've got to double-check to see. I don't think it has anything to do with the March continuation because we've been in the March contract for a very, very long time. Remember, December was way back here, so we've been in March long before this. So that's the problem that we have, uh, that we're facing this. So that's not good. I'm short these from 20, and I am just going to uh, get out of these in just about a heartbeat here. So we'll have to take care of that. That is uh, that's a that's a clerical error that I'm very well. At least you see how I do it. <laughs> sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. But that is an A B C D measuring to 26, and the low was 23. That's a whole point higher, and that's today. So looking at this on the little bit of a time frame right here, there was the bottom here today. I should have been buying there. Uh, well, that's Monday. That's Well, that was yesterday. I wouldn't have been doing that. But then we had a little bit of a pullback here. This is uh, – I don't want to be, I don't want to be short. This. Fortunately, I sold it at uh, 1820. I have my stop right above there. So when the show ends, I'm just going to get out of the darn thing uh, at the uh, at the market. And you know what I'm going to do? Let me do something here. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll just leave it like that. Yeah, just a couple of points, but that that is that's a that's a clerical error on my part. That that's not good. Well, at least it doesn't have a a big loss on anything. So that's the main thing that we want to be paying attention to. Okay, now the S and P's come right back a little bit here. Let's get up here. You'll see we haven't uh, hasn't uh, you know done anything any damage. We got down here to seventy, then we rallied back a little bit. We we'll just do this on a three minutes so we can see how. Quickly, it's jumping around on some of these things. We had a little bit of a pullback here. Now, let's just look at the 382 off of this major high back here. We already did that. There, there it is right there. That told it to back off. Now, it backed off 12 points, and now it's coming right back, and that tells us that you're probably looking at another small ABCD pattern coming in right about there. That would be up around 87, and that would be um, – that's not quite the 50%, but that's what you could easily do uh, from that level right here. But when it comes back this quickly like this, remember John Hill said, once you go more than 78% of this move, that's called a yum-yum, and it's probably going to go up. And, uh, well, it stopped right at the 78.6. So there's if it starts getting above here, that's most probably where it's going to be going, Okay. So that's another one that we want to be paying uh, very close attention. So we have a question here about a stock. I'm not even sure we still have it. Caterpillar. Let me double check here to see if we have Caterpillar still in the – I used to look at it because it was – there There it is, Caterpillar. What we'll do is we've got a break coming up here in just a second, but we'll look at Caterpillar when we come back. It doesn't look very good. Uh, you can see here we got up to this uh, level right here, and we've been heading lower. Looks like the earnings were not too good in here. Boy, 3.30, this is why the Dow's down today is uh, Caterpillar. That's a, that's a big drop for a $300 stock. So that's where we're paying close attention to that one, okay? So let's see how much time we got left before the break. Oh, we got 54 seconds. Let's just do the Caterpillar right now. There was a 3.82 in Caterpillar, the kind we like to see. It backed off a little bit, but then, you know, once it went above there, that told you that that pattern was not breaking. And then look at this bullish pattern right here. You see this? Oh, I'll bet you that is a beauty. Let's just measure this one. This is a daily from your low. That's not 382. I can tell you that, though. Uh, what does it come to? Oh, my gosh, it is. It's 0.33. Very, very close to 382. Almost on the money. 
Let's see what the ABCD is. And then we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, since Friday when we had the big move down, the 382 on this S&P comes in at 50.02. That might be hit tomorrow or something, but... We had a small ABCD right here. You can see this, you know, remember this is a half hour, so that's taken about 10 hours to get to that level right here. Okay, but that's an ABCD. I'm gonna blow it up so we can see it. There it is, ABCD. If you looked at it from the high of the previous swing right back here, let's see how close it came to the 382. Right on the money, okay? Now what we have here, we've got a real valid potential uh, a, B, C, D here. Go down to a smaller time frame just so we can see it clearly. There it is right there. There's the A, B, C, D coming in right here. Remember, up here is the 3, 8, 2 on the whole thing. But this will be the first really good A, B, C, D in quite a while if we get up there to this level right here, which is 61% of that. So I would be a seller there at 87, 49, 87. 10 points from where it is right now. If you like ABCDs, you got a couple things going for you. You're in a downtrend, for heaven's sakes. Okay? So you sell it there, put your stop above there, and see what happens. But uh, that's really what you're looking at. All we've done so far 
on this rally is duplicate what we did pretty much exactly right there and exactly right there. You see how it re repeats over and over again? That's what the market's doing all the time. So, you know, it's not a mystery. You just got to, you know, take a look at what's happening with it and you should be okay. Now, remember, Norm Winsky will be our guest on Friday. Tomorrow, we're hoping to have Tim Bost as our guest. Remember, he had some really great trades set up. We're going to look at those. And then hopefully on Thursday, we're going to have uh, – Grace Morris from Astro Economics. She's been incredibly bullish for a long time. I, I just want to see what her stance is, you know, coming into NVIDIA because the whole world is looking at NVIDIA for the uh, reports that they're going to be bringing out. I guess it's Thursday, whatever it is. The whole world will be watching. Whether they'll be happy or not remains to be seen. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless folks.